Hey everybody, this is John again. I'm going to do a tutorial here how to tram, basically make this as parallel to the bed as you can. This printer bot does not have a three-point mounting system when it comes to bed leveling. They are going under the assumption that the bed is across diagonally, uh, only off by 0.3 millimeter, and that your first layer should adjust to that. Uh, usually this would be fixed with the auto probe. But this auto probe does not actually detect right now. It is one of the problems with the dual metal that it actually does not detect the bed and does not stop when you're supposed to. So let me give you a little sense of what I mean here. Um, hopefully I don't destroy the machine doing this. You home X, it goes home. You home Y, it goes home. It detects metal and it will go down even if it detects metal. It's actually going down. Now, if you try to home Z, oh god, here we go. It'll keep going forever. I actually just shut the machine off just in time. That is the problem with this machine. So, to compensate, I've just stopped using the home command. So I'm gonna turn it back on. Uh, no damage is done to the machine. It just slides down this thing right there. So we're going to go ahead and connect on Cura. That's the problem with doing things live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I've been printing without this thing actually working the way it's supposed to. And maybe this will have to happen to you guys too. I'm going to X, Y, and Z again. I'm going to go up, go up, go up, go up. All right. And I've actually preheated the nozzle. I'm typing in here, here um, and the print bed because if you are going to level everything, you need everything warmed up to this to the temperature you're actually going to be operating at. So what I'm going to do is actually slide this bad boy over. I've got it all heated up and it's at about 200 degrees Celsius right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and push that filament through and then immediately pull it right out dry pull or a wet pull as you will. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, let that go out of the side. I'm going to pull this out right here, get that off there. I'm going to go up. What I want to do is get a really good clean nozzle so that when I start to level this stuff, I don't have any problems whatsoever. I noticed that it's actually it will detect the metal here, it will detect the metal over here, but in the middle it seems to bow down. It seems a little loose, I don't know how to tighten that. I don't know what printer bot did to adjust that, I'll get to that later. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to loosen this bad boy up, all the way up, so it's completely loose. And then, with my feeler gauge, because I know people have been using paper, uh, that's not exactly very scientific, I like scientific stuff, so I've got a feeler gauge here, and you can see that it is 0.038 millimeter. Smaller than anything my machine can actually move. So I'm going to use this with the actual height of the nozzle, and that's how I'm going to find the Z probe. So follow me as I go along here. Okay. Now, if your machine does not let you go down below a certain level, you type in the command. G92, G92, then space, the letter Z, and whatever height you want it to think it's at right now. So I think that's about, what, 30 millimeters right there. I'm going to go ahead and put that in Cura. And now I'm actually going to be able to go down to the point. Another 10 millimeters or so. Now I'm going to X the, I'm going to home the X. And I'm going to just move the, the Y up just a little bit. Too much. And then I'm going to move it over to where it's in the actual print surface. I'm going to go down one millimeter. And all I'm going to do is move this feeler gauge underneath. See, that's too far. I saw the whole print bed actually shift. That's easy. Okay. And then I'm going to just go down one tenth of a millimeter at a time until it does not go freely underneath there.
Put in a little bit of resistance. And there it is. Okay, that is true zero. No space. What's oh, just barely, but you gotta I feel the resistance. Okay, so that is true zero on this corner right here. That might change as you go through the system. So we're gonna go systematically find true level. It's actually really hot. Whew, that was hot. Okay, so I'm gonna go try to find right there where it actually detects the metal. It's gonna be really finicky. If anyone out there knows why this system is not detecting, the, well, it's detecting, but not the printer board is not actually registering a Z home. Like it's not telling it to stop moving, which would be great. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a good tighten down. Not so tight. I just don't want it to move. And we're going to verify that. So we're going to go back up. I want a two, mil, two tenths of a millimeter right there. Okay, and the light is detected, but the paper, the, the feeler gauge still goes f underneath it very easily. So another tenth, and that's really where I wanted it to be. So now I know that there are two tenths below where the light detects. Uh, one, two. Go down, one, two. That's really my true zero right there. True zero on that corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the G code, G92 to Z, zero, enter M500 to save that, I believe, just for settings stored. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. <clears throat> I'm gonna go up two tenths, one, two, and then I'm gonna move to this corner here. All the way to the corner. You see how the light? was off over here and now it became on over here. So that's not what we want. We want so you have to manually move the threaded rod clockwise, top looking down, to lift that Z probe up on the inside. Because we want this side to be right at the same level as this side. And now as I go down, it should be the first one should be a light. Boom, there it is. Second one, that's my true zero. That's really what I wanted. And it can barely feel it, so I'm just going to give, I'm going to go counterclockwise on the Z rod just enough. There, that was it. Go back just a little bit. One, two, three. Okay, that's kind of weird. One, two, And keep in mind, this is really precise way of measuring. Now, that's the only thing I can do on this printer bot because it does not have a three-point bed leveling system. So if there are other problems with this thing that I can't detect because the way it's designed, like on the bottom, there's supposed to be an insulated bed, and there's only three bolts holding the whole damn thing on. So if I actually needed to adjust it as it comes through the to this side at the other end, so I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to raise the Z up. Okay. And then I'm going to bring the bed out. I'm going to move it to the center. Now I'm going to check using the M14, uh, M114. I'm actually going to see where the Z thinks it is right now. It thinks it's at 1.10. So 1.10. So I'm going to bring it down by one tenth and then one millimeter. That light should have detected, but it did not. So there you can see the discrepancy with the bed leveling system. And that's why this machine needs a bed leveling system that it does, currently does not have. So let's see how far down it has to go for it to actually detect. G92 space Z. I'm going to give it... 0.2 millimeter. One, two, oh, it's still not enough. G92 space Z, 0.2. So we're already 
0.2 below where the X was on the corners in the back of the bed. One. You know, it might just be something as simple as, let me go back up one. Um, and let me go up two. I'm going to go up two. Don't confirm that. Yep, it says I'm at 0.4 millimeter, which is right where, where I think I should be. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this bed back just a few millimeters so the whole sensor has a chance to detect some metal. That's what it does. Ah, and there we go. So lesson learned right there. You guys just learned that with me that it did detect it right where it's supposed to. So is that thinks it's at 0.4 right now. I'm going to go up 0.1. So we're at 0.3 now, 0.2. Okay. And then 0.1 and 0 0.0. That's where it thinks it's supposed to be. So we went up four. It th thought it was at four. This is my true zero at the back. So let's go down one, go down another, down another, and boom. That's right where I wanted to be. I can feel it can go under there, but it doesn't scratch as much. Because I, I really didn't want a three point leveling system because this bed will not adjust. When this thing works properly and you do the G29 auto probe, it detects like 16 points on the bed, it will actually move the Z head up and down throughout the print. And you can actually see that on the Z couplers, they'll actually move during the print rather than just between the layers as each layer gets changed. But I really want a good solid zero on this just so that when I do all, when the machine does all of its calculations, it knows exactly what math it needs to do. So I just told the computer that this is what I want my true zero to be. Even though the light is not detected, it will detect in the back corner. So I'm gonna go up one millimeter. I'm gonna home X. I'm a home wife. And I'm going to go down one millimeter. All right, let's see what's going on here. You can see the light coming on barely. Let's move this wide bed. You can see the, the light come on occasionally as the light detects it. So let's measure here at this corner. Oh, that's way too high. So to make some adjustments even easier, we're just gonna go ahead and move the threaded rod counterclockwise. So the sensor detects it. But it's not where I want it. Boom, right there, I feel it. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. Barely, barely goes underneath. Okay, because you have to understand your bed may be curved. It may have a hump, it might be bowed, it may be skewed. Okay, so it's still, I haven't made any manual changes to this. This is where it thinks Z is supposed to be at zero. I'm gonna go up one millimeter. I'm gonna go all the way to the other end. I'm gonna go down one millimeter and detect the bed right where I thought I should. And it's very close. Now, just to tram it out one more time, I'm gonna go counterclockwise to make to make it feel it touch it. I feel it touching. That's why it's called a feeler gauge. You can barely feel it touch, and that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be. So, this is my true Z. And I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna throw on a pretty big print here. Uh, you'll see it in the post video. I'm going to show you guys the kind of le bed leveling I get after I start this. I'm going to home everything in. Something to be aware of though is that in your slicer settings, if you if your bed is warped, if your bed is warped and it starts to do its thing, like I can't I can't go down anymore. That's good. What you don't want to do is that, say it's higher here than it is in the middle of the bed. 
If you do that, your nozzle will actually drag and dig into the plate all the way to that spot. Even though this part might be lower and that spot is higher, it, it's your, if you set your Z for dead center, it, it might scrape on the bed somewhere else. You can overcompensate for a bow like this by just extruding more onto the, onto the build plate. So that's all the video I have for you right now. I don't want to take up all your time. But thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.